say he's just a good friend, a solid dude. My boy, Michael Coonahan, aka on, No Donuts here. What up, what up? What's up, bro? It's an honor, man. First first episode? Yeah, first episode, kid. The show. Happy to be your first guest, man. I appreciate you uh, taking the time and letting us, uh, you know, pick your brain a little bit. Of course. So, I know you get this question a lot, right? Uh-huh. How did you come to be No Donuts? <clears throat> um, it's weird, man. I, uh, I was in a really sticky situation at work. Okay. Um, I don't know if you want to get into all that, but... Yeah, I think we kind of got the gist of you yeah. know, what happened. Yeah, so I was in a very interesting situation at work where my physical ability kind of... I get, I don't want to say it saved my life, but it, it probably did. But um, from that point on, I felt compelled to uh, kind of help other cops out, other first responders out, to really push the, uh, the message of... You know, really taking care of yourself and health and wellness and being physically able to do your job and protect yourself and, and all that good stuff. And um, that kind of morphed into what we have today is No Donuts Here. I mean, the name is kind of like a play on words, kind of a jab at cops, okay. being a cop. But, you know, what started it all was really a very serious matter. You know? Yeah, that's how, well, that's how I kind of, like I said, I came across your page, man. Uh, uh, I know we spoke about this on the podcast. Uh, so you're just out there being in the community yep. um, in a very authentic way, nonetheless. Mm-hmm. Um, and I know I, you had got some notoriety before that, but what caught my eye was just you out there you know, doing push-ups with some kid on a, yeah. on a street corner. Well, that was the other standpoint I wanted to hit was like breaking stereotypes. Like not every cop is, you know, what they're portrayed to be on the news. Yeah. You know, it's not not every cop is, you know, overweight, donut eating, you know, maniac. Gotcha. So I wanted to break stereotypes and I wanted to <clears throat> help cops at the same, you know, at the same time. All right, cool, man. I mean, like, uh, as far as uh, as that aspect of it, like, I think a lot of people kind of want to know what your, what your, like, your training regimen looks like. Uh, I do, uh, I've been, like, a sucker for the bro lifts, man, you know, bodybuilding stuff. But I've always kept the, uh, the foundation of, like, the core, the core three movements. Keep 
you're doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going until yeah. your rest comes. I'm like, oh man. So ends up, you know, the guy survived, came back to the gym, bought me a steak dinner. And, oh, that's fucking that's badass, cool, bro. It was a cool story. You know, you yeah. to help somebody out in the gym. See, that's uh, that's something that uh, it's a rare occurrence. Yeah, that's I was about to say super rare. You know, I mean, guys, we come across where we put the fib on them and then uh, yeah. you know, they never make it back. So mm -hmm. it's actually a pretty dope story. Yeah. Um, there's another question I always like to ask is. That, so, name one thing that most people don't know about Michael Kuhn. Oh, man. Big time, big time introvert. I mean, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people do know that, but I feel like they see somebody online that has, like, a little bit of a following, and they automatically, especially somebody that, like, works out and has tattoos and all that stuff, and they expect them to be this, like, loud, you know, obnoxious, outspoken person, but I'm just a quiet guy, man. I'm very, yeah, very I think that's, myself. like, a common misconception yeah. that a lot of people uh, look at our Instagrams and, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, even like the demeanor, like if you kind of present yourself in a certain way, yeah. they think that you're supposed to live this it's also certain like, type of lifestyle. Yeah, like if, like I'm a quiet guy and people, people, you know, it's a misconception because people think that I'm like coming off as not your arrogant, but really I'm just like, you know, not that I'm insecure, but I'm just quiet, you know, I'm very shy, I'm not a loud, outspoken, obnoxious person. Yeah, I think I, I see a lot of similarities in myself, Yeah, you know. Um, I think there's a lot, a lot of people that train are like that, you know. Yeah, it's like we have a switch, we can turn it on, and then, mm -hmm. we, you know, we shut it off when we need to. Yeah. Um, so, going back to the podcast that we did for reps, you mentioned something about manifestation. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's something I don't think a lot of people knew about you. Uh, I'm a big I'm a big believer in, um, you know, putting out positive energy, positive vibes, and that then will manifest itself. Yep. Um, let's get a little bit into manifestation. Uh, how'd you get into it? Um, you know, I remember you saying it. Uh, you meeting the guys from First Form. Mm -hmm. Was it something that you hadn't even thought about before, or was it like no. something that they put you onto? I learned about it the hard way, man. I was miserable. You know, I was, wasn't was happy with my job. I wasn't happy with, you know, anything. You know, I was just, I don't know. I wasn't fulfilled with what I was doing. You yeah. know, I was pushing a sector, doing, you know, 30, 40 jobs a day. It was just like the grind, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I wasn't making a lot of money. And I felt like I was killing myself in the gym, between the gym and work, and I wasn't getting anything out of it. And, um, you know, I know social media gets a bad rap, but it opened my eyes to so much, so many different ways of thinking. Like, I followed, I, I was introduced to everybody at first form through social media. Yeah. And um, you get to see how they think, and, you know, they talk about stuff like vision boards and manifesting the things you want in life and visualizing it. People don't realize it, and I heard it the first time, and I was like, "This is some, this is some dumb shit, man. This, you can't just man think about stuff happening and it just fucking happens." Yeah, which is true. I mean, you can't just manifest stuff into existence. You got to work for yeah, it. You got to have a little plan of action. But that switch of you know how your, your thought process and how you and how you see things and how you operate and the action of actually helping people will in turn you know benefit you in the long run because you're it's i'm a big believer in karma i'm a big believer in uh, the law of attraction and going out of your way and, and helping people and doing for others will in turn come back and help help you in tenfold right, yeah, i think you answered that shit spot on bro um i think a lot of people don't understand that though like you you're gonna get exactly what you put out and i don't know if a lot of people really understand that that goes for everything it goes for training you're gonna get whatever you know whatever you put in you're gonna get out out of your training work relationships everything you know whatever you put in you'll get back that was a gem right there if you have any advice for like a young guy let's not even say a young guy getting on a job right you got a young guy that was in the same position you were in just kind of unhappy with what they were doing in their life or where they were at that point in their life like you have any kind of advice for like a, a you know a young dude that's kind of going through it trying to figure out his way you know out of it is there is there any like words of advice you could give that young guy or girl it's not about you you know, it's not about you, it's about helping other people. And the more people you help, the more your life will improve. I mean, it sounds stupid until you do it. And you're like, holy shit, this works. You know, and it's not, you shouldn't help people to just want to improve yourself. You should genuinely, genuinely want to help yeah, help to help, yeah. I like that, bro. Um, so I noticed that you, uh, you're you dropping some teas, man. Let's talk about, uh, you know, the t-shirts. How'd you come to the, to the point where you said, hey, man, I want to put out some t-shirts. And, uh, you know, who helps you come up with some of the designs and things of that nature? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, man. I just thought of some ideas. I had some corny ideas. Um, one of the first shirts, ironically, said more than just a tax you know, that Oh, was, I remember that one, dude. Yeah. I, I actually like that one. That was, that's a fucking gem. Yeah. So, um, I think you got to be a city cop to get that. Yeah. So, yeah. it's weird, man. On the job, 
job, or at least, you know, I'll just say the job. Um, you're just a number, man, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And it's up to you to make yourself something outside of the job, you know? And that was the whole, you know, reason for the shirt was to, you know, make something other, make something of yourself outside of the job. Yeah. This way, when you leave the job, you got, you know, more stuff going on. That's the one thing I love that you talk about is that, you know, being something outside of the job. Yeah. I think a lot of people, like you said before, they get lost in the sauce. And, you know, it's great doing what we do for a living, but it, it shouldn't really define who you are as a person. Just, You're more than just a, a tax number. And that's why, you know, I took a liking to that shirt. And even you just speaking on it now, I think that's one thing that, you know, we've had a few conversations. You always reiterate that. Do something outside of the job that, you know, fills your cup and makes you feel like, you know, you're giving back and, and be human. You know what I mean? Like, and that's that's the thing is a lot of people took the job for that reason to, to fill the cup, to be fulfilled, and, and to help people. And sometimes it's like once you get into it, it's like uh, this isn't exactly what I thought it was. Like, you're still helping people, but it's 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 beating the shit out of you. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's, man. It's important to get stuff going on outside of the job where you're able to help people in different capacity. It definitely beats up on your soul a little bit because, like, oh, yeah. like we were saying before, uh, it. We don't see people in the best light all the time. And then on top of that, we go home and we see on social media. And, you know, when we turn on the TV, we see, you know, negative depictions of what we do for a living. So yeah. that does beat up on you a little yeah, bit. Because you kind of get, you know, you kind of get hit from every angle. You know what I mean? You get, if you're taking care of yourself outside of work, you're getting you're getting stuff from the coworkers. You know, you're getting stuff from the public. Yep. You're getting stuff from the media. You know, then if you're too dedicated to your job, you're getting stuff from people at home. You know, so it's like you got to find a balance, man. Yeah, you got to find a healthy balance. Um, damn, bro, I think you, you, you kind of hit that on the head right there. Um, I think uh, my closing questions just kind of are, are built around, you know, what's next for, for you know, Michael Kuhn and Mr. No Donuts here? I don't know, man. I'm going to see uh, see where this shirt thing goes, man. I'm going to keep doing that. Maybe try to build on that. Uh, I got some stuff going on in the fitness industry. Okay. First form. Uh, I actually have a trip coming up next month down to Florida filming uh, on a TV show with a couple guys. Oh, it's a fishing show. That's, oh, shit. Yeah, that's aces, bro. It's called Saltwater Experience. I'll be just staying down at Hawks K. It's like a really, really cool resort. Uh, it's like a fishing resort. So I'll be staying down there. I'm going to fish with a really couple, couple really cool guys. And it's a show that I watched for a very long time. It's really cool to be able to be on it. To have a fishing TV show might be a little far fetched, but hey, man, listen, we were talking about the law of attraction right now. Manifestation. Yeah. I think if you put it out there, that shouldn't be yours. But even like, listen, I'm gonna retire in six years to move down to Florida, and hire a video guy, and start a YouTube fishing channel. Oh, that's pretty bad. That's, that's, I'll be down that's there. Not uh, too far fetched. Either, let's get a cigar and then drink some scotch or something. Yeah, when you get down you know, there, it's I'm right. I'm, I'm right. Uh, I'm right in front of you when it comes to retirement. Yep. So uh, you'll be there before me, bro. Staying a day past 20, right? No. <laughs> no. Not this climate, man. It's yeah, yeah, it's tough, man. But uh, you know, I think I think we got in at the right time. We're gonna get out mm-hmm. in the right time too. Just, so. just in time. Uh, man, I so I think we got everything squared away, brother. I appreciate you for doing this episode with me. I wanted to have you as uh, our first guest because um, one, your 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 positive influence out here. Two, I respect you as a as a as a bro, not even as like you know what we do for a living but as a bro i respect you and um hopefully in the near future right when the world opens back up we can get out there and do another fit for duty yeah, dude, i think the world will want to see that as soon as the weather's good and we're allowed to actually you know have interactions with other humans i'm gonna set it up man with Paul mike and get the ball rolling on that oh yeah 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 or or if you could get mike up here and we'll, we'll do a nice little uh little workout somewhere yeah all right, all right, so that works, man. So this is Jumpman J signing out with your boy, Michael Cunahan, a.k.a. No Donuts here. Thank you for tuning in to Combos in the Car, and we're out.